Russell Kane told Express. Co.uk He doesn't believe cancel culture holds comedians back at all, in fact they can be more offensive than ever. However, the 46-year-old said it's important not to punch down, but at groups of people who can take a fight, like vegans. In an interview with Express, Co.uk, Russell dismissed the idea of cancel culture, insisting there have never been more comedians on stage, and they can say a lot more outrageous things than ever before. I think sometimes when I hear, it's political correctness gone mad, it's normally a bloke that wants to touch a woman's boob in the office and can't anymore, he said. It's stuff that always was illegal but was never prosecuted. It's very rarely, I want to go on stage and do this joke but I can't. The area you've got to be careful with is areas where there is massive political force behind the voices, such as the transgender. I always think, why make jokes about people that have less power, is that funny? Isn't that what bullying was at school? When I was at school you couldn't beat up someone in a younger year than you, you were looked at as a bully. Pick on someone your own size. It's not like I am a prude or a do-gooder, but if Terry's someone with Down syndrome in the front row, to me it's not funny to humiliate them in front of the audience, it's just not my type of humor. It's too easy if you've got the microphone and all the power, to make fun of someone that doesn't have the power. He added, make fun of everything else around you, Terry's plenty of stuff going on. There's plenty of funny people with power that will get offended, like vegans, they're good to make fun of. If you want a bit of trolling and you want to end up in the headlines, make fun of vegans. They are rich and middle class, and they can take it and they will give you a effing fight, and it's fair. Dot Russell previously sparked outrage from vegans when he joked that they were weak due to their diet. He was appearing on The Apprentice, You're Hired, and discussed finalist Camilla Ainsworth's product, Dairy-Free Nut Milk. Camilla lost out to Son Gabadon's custom-made swimsuit brand, which caught the eye of Lord Alan Sugar. There's going to be a lot of angry vegans out there. If only they had the strength to type a complaint, Russell quipped. His remarks saw a backlash on social media, but Russell was unbothered. He regularly teases vegans, even once creating a video sarcastically named Congrats for Being Vegan. Russell partnered with Nextdoor, the online community network, to help encourage people all over the UK to get together with their neighbours this June and celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee with a big Jubilee lunch. To find out Russell's tips to avoid any awkward interactions when inviting neighbours to your royal celebrations, watch his latest sketch here.